Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. All right, we're looking uh, down Bourbon Street into the French Quarter. This continues on for three more blocks past this block. And it's wall-to-wall -wall people. We go through this two weekends, not just one day. Mardi Gras is not just one day. It's two weekends. And this is what we go through for both of these weekends. Just gearing up for the big day, Mardi Gras day. This is what we call New Orleans snow. New Orleans snow. We got a gun. We got a man with a gun. We're going to try to take him at the corner. Great luck. We're going to grab him here in a minute. Which one? Which one? Don't move. Don't move. You got me? Don't move. Move! Don't move! 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 Put your hands behind your back. Gun. Got a gun. We got a gun. Watch your back. Watch your back. Other in the crowd. Others in the crowd. You got it. You got it right there. Scott's got it. We got it. Check him for more. Check him for more. Get it over here. Get it over here. Out of the crowd. 98. Oh. 8821. All right, walking through the crowd trying to get through. I put my hand on his hip just to move him through the side, and that's when I felt the butt of the gun. Notified my partner that we had a person with the gun. As soon as we were able to get close enough to the, where there was a lot of policemen, we just grabbed him, grabbed him by the arm to secure him. This is what he had concealed on his right hip. You cannot carry a concealed weapon, Bruh. period. End of story. Bruh. Look at these people having a good time. You think everybody's got guns out there? I just got this gun out of concealed weapon for the same thing you told me with. Run his name, see if he's 95-1, see if he's got a convicted felony. Get his information. He All said right. he's a security guard. Check and see if he's got a security officer permit. And then if not, what if that 95, would you got somebody flag you down? And no, you no, I'm just walking through the crowd. I put my hand on his hip just to move just him to, to move the side. Away? Yeah. And you felt the gun? Yeah. 95, conceal weapon, and then uh, just go ahead and hit him up. When you bring party favors like this down here, it makes for a long night, doesn't it? All right, here we are in, in the French Quarter and approaching Bourbon Street, where 90% of the Mardi Gras activities take place. And in the large crowds, we look for mainly pickpockets, fights that start to break out, lewd conduct by urinating in public, exposing their person's genitals, and uh, several other minor incidents. We just got a call of an unknown trouble at Bourbon. Uh, so we're trying to get through the crowd to get there. Excuse me, folks. I'm staying there. Turn around and face that wall. Well, we're trying to go in the ballroom to answer the call of a possible gun, and this guy pushing through his beer on me. Wayne, they say you can't take no prisoners. It's full. 
Now pay attention. I face the wall. Listen, I'm a, I'm a former Marine. You don't have to push my head on the wall. There's no reason to push my head on the wall. Put your head on the wall. I'm tired I'm of talking it, to you. Just don't push me. Watch on your knees. This is, I mean, I'm, okay. Get on your knees. Put that knee down. The more you open your mouth, the more I'm writing. All right, sir. Coming through, watch out, let's go, move. Coming through, watch out, watch out. What happened? Take this pocket. Be quiet. What did he do? He grabbed the hold on me. And said, when I grabbed the hold on me, he said, I didn't mean to take it from you, but here it is. Where did he take it from? Oh, yeah, he took it from Where was it when he took it? In your hand, in your pocket? He took it out of his pocket. Took it out of his pocket. I don't do that. Can I take it back? He beat me, he beat me. Okay, what I'm okay. He beat me, so. I saw you it. No. I saw think they want to push it. No, sir. He threw me. Sorry, there let, it me, is. let me come talk to you over here. So y'all in, y'all in this block right here? Huh? Do what? Where were y'all exactly? In this block right Just here? Just like another block. And he started running after him. I thought, what is going on? Why is he running after him? I didn't know why. Okay. And then the guy gave him back that. Hey, so I don't want nothing. I don't want to do nothing. No, no, no. I mean, we just want to go home. Y'all, y'all want to go home? You I'm satisfied sorry. you got everything back? Well, I think I do, but I don't think that that's going to happen. Okay. So I'm, I'm asking you, are you satisfied that... that are you all right, Ben? Are you, are you going to take it down? That's what we're trying to ask you. If you don't no, want us to do I'm nothing. Satisfied. Okay. Where are y'all staying at? Yeah. Reds Carlton. The who? The Reds. Okay. I suggest you put that in your pocket, in your front pocket, or put your hand around it. Yeah. And your Rich Carlton is, is on the next corner. It's yeah. on the next corner that way. Right. And we're gonna take care of him. Are you? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Cayete. One eighty-four. Are you in This guy grabs an old man around the waist, goes in his pocket, takes all his money. Old all man, his money. Man, old man chased him down and tackled him. <laughs> the victims are fighting back. Tomorrow's going to be Fat Tuesday. It's the biggest night. People want to get their fun in before they go home. It's already getting pretty busy. Most blocks down here, from about the 2 to about the 700 block, are almost impassable. you got so many people down here, you take your half hour so we'll get from one end of the block to the other. All right, you got a little weed over here. What? Put that out on your shoe. On my shoe? Oh. Drop it. Oh, where are you going, man? Could I drop it? Grab this guy, grab this guy. That's not me, y'all. Hey, Rick, can you hold this for me for a second? What was it doing, Andor? You hold that for me for a second? Thanks, man. You're not the brightest guy in the block, are you? Wasn't me, bro. Uh, uh, wasn't me, bro. Thanks, man. We're walking down the street. Saw a group of males standing there with a with what appeared to be a hand rolled marijuana cigarette. When I walked up, uh, I was able to smell the, the odor of burning marijuana. And as I walked up, the subject just stood up and looked at me. You know, they didn't want to discard it or anything. They just stood there and looked. You know, people in uh, in these large crowds think that it's going to be a little bit easier to, to conceal some of this behavior. What they don't take into account is that it's a little harder to see us as well. Yeah, you're paying right now. Yeah, let's get him. I think it's next. 
Turn around, put your hands on that truck. Put your hands on the truck. You know why, right? You going to jail, and you know why. Put your hands behind your back. I don't have anything on me, I'm beyond. Where are you from? Uh, from around here. From around here? Mm -hmm. So you know better, right? No excuses. Come <laughs> on, we're going to find a um, paddy wagon so I can do the paperwork. You ever been arrested? No, never been arrested. Never. First time. Tonight going to be your first time. That's my first time. I've never yeah. been caught before in my life. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, have you been drinking or anything? Ever. I had like three beers. OK. Maybe you had three too many. <laughs> Come on. So. Yeah. You're right. You're right. That was real disrespectful. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What you running for? Them girls trying to attack us, man. Listen, that girl has ripped my beads hey. off me. Listen, that girl is coughing. Bienville hey. and Bourbon, man. The apprehension. Turn Stay on the ground. Officer, why are you arresting me? Where's that officer? What is that? Now tell me what happened. Why you ran, first of all? You ran. All right, all right. For two blocks, this girl started chasing us, right? She said, she said, you knocked my boyfriend out. She was chasing my friend. She was ripping his feeds off, grabbing his legs. I said, hold on, hold on. Calm down. Look at what you're doing. Look at what you're doing. That girl's crazy, man. I swear to God, man. These guys do bad behavior in the back. Going on. She's saying that this is the guy that grabbed the hair. You grabbed the hair, be honest. You, no, I didn't. I didn't grab it. She said you flashed a band-aid. You yeah. got the band-aid on your eye. What, the, what, the, what that's from? That's from Dallas. Where are you staying out over here? We're not staying nowhere. We're driving back. Tonight. You're not staying anywhere over here? You got any friends that live down here? She's saying this guy over here actually didn't do anything. He just ran with I'm him. I'm telling you, officer, she does not know who. And I swear, look at my knuckles. If I hit her boyfriend, my knuckle will be red. Or my secret. My knuckle will be red or something. You've been fighting before, though, obviously. That's why you got that. Obviously, I have to fight or not. Give me, uh, write him a summons. I swear to God. Write him a summons. Yeah, what's your ID? He's going to give you a summons. OK, officer, I'm You're not going you, to jail. Some guy, some guy hit her boyfriend, and I don't know who it was. But that's my friend. And we neither one of us. You grabbed her hair, though. She said you didn't hit her, but you grabbed her hair. No. It, oh, if I did grab her hair, if I did, honestly, was, it was uh, when I was pushing her away. He's getting a summons uh, for a... Uh... Battery. Simple battery. Okay, the one guy who they're saying that hit him, we're going to write him a summons, and he's got the pair in court. And um, the one, the guy, the victims, they're going to be done, put down the city witnesses to come and testify. Oh, 7 o'clock on Mardi Gras Day. It's Fat Tuesday. Mardi Gras 2002, and we're up on one of the balconies here in the 300 block of Bourbon Street. It's where people come to the hotels. They want balconies for Bourbon Street, so they can get out of here. They can see the crowd, throw things to the crowd. Gives you a little bird's eye view of exactly what the crowd looks like down there.
what happened? He caught the guy pickpocketed. He grabbed the guy. Evidently, we got a gentleman that was pickpocketed. We got it. Get him, get him. Right there, right there. Go to the ground, go to the ground, go to the ground! Go to the ground! Somebody come. Get him up, get him out of here. Hold on, hold on! Let them through! Evidently, we had a gentleman that was pickpocketed. The crowd worked in our favor. Uh, the crowd kept him uh, from getting too far in front of us. Uh, so we were able to make an arrest. So we're gonna take him over to the paddy wagon now and uh, go ahead and do the booking process. This is one of the reasons why people come to Mardi Gras. These balconies, people on the balcony throwing beads, flashing. Uh, the problem that comes up with that is the crowds get so thick, it's hard for us to get in there. The fight breaks out. Somebody's got a weapon. It makes it tough for us to get to them. 516. We got a celebrity that's just gotten out on the balcony. The Snoop Dogg is on uh, the Girls Going Wild balcony. Which is going to draw an even bigger crowd now. Watch your back! Watch your back! Right. The crowd is stampeding us. Watch your back! All right, we need help in the 200 block with crowd control. Big time! Big time! Close the balcony. That girl's going wild. Can somebody get up there and close that balcony. over here. Send us some help in the 200 block. Get back, get back, get back. Scott, get over here, get over here. Get up here. Undo the barricades. Break the, no, look, leave the barricades, leave the barricades. All right, we need some help over here in the 200 block. We need some help. Just need to get this balcony closed down. That girl's gone wild. The unit that's at the corner, get out, get that balcony closed. This is uh, this is what we dread. We dread losing control. Uh, and holy. All right, this is what we dread. We dread losing control. We haven't lost control. We are still in control, believe it or not. We're gonna take this crowd back. We're fixing to go in here. We're gonna take this crowd back. We have support units arriving now. And uh, we're fixing to regain some order in this block. Flood the crowd. Our mounted division is very central for our crowd control. Coming through, they get the crowd moving instead of staying in one spot. If we have a major problem, we'll call them in to help us clear out the crowds. They saw their fight right in front of us. Uh, but I'm glad we were there to uh, detain the two perpetrators. Now they'll be going to central lockup. Mounted patrol, we don't really appreciate them until it's Mardi Gras time, because they are uh, ultimately the masters of crowd control. Out the street, out the street. No, 
the sidewalk. I know the Mardi Gras has gone by. No major incidents. Everybody safe? Everybody safe? Good night. Bye bye. <laughs> well, dude, we made it. Congratulations. Turn out the lights. The party is over. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Bye bye. Have a good night. Drive home safely. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Well, my hat's off to the men and women of the NOPD, the state police, as well as the National Guard for making this a very, very successful event. We knew we had something to prove after September 11th that people could still visit the city and we could still provide a safe environment and encourage people to restore back their confidence in law enforcement and public safety. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code three. Okay. Get it to 2514, can't transmit on tech two. Okay, we'll still send a code three.